ladies and gentlemen. We have a pool flow mix going on right here. So the Bureau of Reclamation has implemented a new process and procedure to cool off the water of the Colorado River. At the low levels of Lake Powell, the river has increased in temperature and smallmouth bass are actually making their way through the dam, going through the penstock intakes down by the river here where power production is made and going out. And they're actually surviving and then they're breeding downstream. So what the Bureau of Reclamation is doing right now they're sending all this water through the river outlet works, which is deeper, colder water. So this colder water is going to mix with the warmer water that the river has. And what it's going to do is disrupt the spawning process with smallmouth bass. And this is for the humpback chub. So the humpback chub is competing with smallmouth bass at the moment. So with that, the Bureau of Reclamation is doing something that's a little bit new and something uh, we haven't seen before. So here's the deal. I know what some of you guys are thinking, that the Bureau is draining Lake Powell for no reason, but we still have 25% of that 7.5 million acre feet to send down to Lake Mead. So they're just bypassing power production. So the grid might have some issues and the Bureau won't, making, won't be making too much money from uh, obviously sending the water downstream, but they're gonna go through the uh, the turbines down in uh, Hoover Dam. So, just wanted to point that out, say that of course. Like I was saying earlier, as a result of warmer river temperature, the Bureau of Reclamation has begun releasing deeper and therefore colder water on Tuesday, July 9th from Lake Powell through Glen Canyon Dam to disrupt the establishment of smallmouth bass, which could negatively affect populations of threatened humpback chub below the dam. Research has shown that the most healthy populations of humpback chub are found on the stretch of the Little Colorado River downstream of Glen Canyon Dam. This cool flow mix consists of releasing water from the pin stocks as well as the river outlet works. The river outlet works are approximately 100 feet below the pin stocks and can release colder water downstream. The declining elevation of Lake Powell in recent years has led to the release of warmer water from Glen Canyon Dam. Invasive fish, such as the smallmouth bass residing in the upper layer of Lake Powell, are now more likely to pass through the dam and spawn downstream in the Grand Canyon. As we can see, only two river outlets will be used in any given time for cool mixed flows. The Bureau of Reclamation has stated that these actions will not impact water deliveries and Reclamation will continue to work closely with Western Area Power Administration to minimize the impacts of reduced power generation to customers by adjusting the timing of these releases from the dam, meaning they will turn the river outlet works on and off. Considerations will be made for possible conditions that temporarily or permanently suspend this action, including the risk of impact grid reliability, system disturbances, and emergencies or effectiveness of controls of smallmouth bass. So long story short, all of this is an experiment, just like the high flow experiment with sediment. This flow is unique as its main focus is fish downstream in the Grand Canyon, especially the endangered humpback chub.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please like and comment. Let me know what you think of this experiment. It's uh, definitely a unique one for sure. And I hope to see you guys again soon.